Okay, I'll take him. Thank you. For the first time in my life, I'm at a loss for a rhyme. Ha, <laughs> brother, she's your woman. Sister, he's your man. For four years. Now, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was help in the nick of time. Tell me why you saved me. Jelly seems to like you. That's why I saved you. Only because of that? You haven't by any chance fallen a tiny little bit in love with me, have you? No, Pierre. I don't even know you, and you don't know me either. We can soon change that. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I don't know. As long as I can remember, I've been traveling with the gypsies from town to town. I don't know where my parents are. All that I have left from my childhood is a talisman that I carry in with my skirt pocket. But no one can see it or it'll lose its power. You seem to be full of secrets. So where do we go from here? You can accompany Jali and me, and if you want to be useful, you can collect our earnings. I could support our income by reciting new verses like, um, that was Esmeralda and her goat. Put coins in the hat or I'll go for your throat. <laughs> okay, then I'll teach Jali some new tricks. How about it, Jali? The next morning, when Quasimodo rang the bells for Mass, he wasn't nearly as attentive to his bells as usual. For the first time since he could remember, his heart warmed while thinking of another person. Don't be angry, Marie, and you too, Jackson. I just want to watch Esmeralda dance. I won't leave you for long. The good citizens of Paris hurried to Mass across the square in front of the Notre Dame. Quasimodo, forgetting his bad experience with them, decided to ask about Esmeralda. Quasimodo? Excuse me, sir. Look, hunchback of Notre Dame, what do you want? Get lost. Madame? Ah, the hunchback! The monster's attacking me! Help! Help! It just so happened that the judge of Paris was among the churchgoers. So, judge? No need to tell me anything. I was a witness myself. That dangerous individual went for the lady. I sentenced him to 20 lashes and an hour in the stocks. Take him to place Grève. The punishment is to be dealt immediately. Take him out immediately now. Esmeralda, Pierre, and Jolly were also on the way to the Place Greve for their daily performance. They wondered why the square was so crowded. As they got nearer, they saw the executioner of Paris take the whip up in the air. <coughs> oh, Pierre, look how cruel. <coughs> <laughs> That's the right place for the hunchback. He should be whipped every day like that. Then he'd learn not to molest honest ladies. <laughs> water, water. Look how he's suffering. I'm sure he did nothing wrong. I'll give him something to drink. Water, water. Here, drink. Drink, Quasimodo. Thank you, Esmeralda. Looks like you've made a friend for life. Be damned, you little thief! Pierre! Don't listen to her. You remind her of a stolen daughter. She must be your age. And she never heard from her again? No, they say that all she has is a tiny shoe that she always carries with her. Did you say a tiny shoe? No, that can't be true. What's wrong with you? You're quite pale. Oh, nothing. Just a silly thought. 
Look, they're letting Quasimodo go. Quasimodo didn't dare leave the church for the next few days. He stood sadly on the balustrade, looking out for Esmeralda. Finally, after two long days, he saw her entering the square. Jolly and Pierre had become good friends in the meantime. <laughs> Quasimodo was so happy that he rang all the bells. Come on, Marie, do your best. She's come. Ring so sweet as you can. You too, you too, Shaheen. If I'm not mistaken, the bells are ringing in your honor today. You've won the heart of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Today, I'll dance only for him. Not that witch again. I forbade her to dance. She's keeping the people away from mass. Look! Look up there! Look! There! Look! Look how he's staring at the dancing girl. It's frightening! And she's got that bewitched goat with her, too. I'll make sure that she doesn't make our bishop the laughingstock again. Jolly, how late is it? <laughs> you witch! Can't you stop turning the people's heads? Instead of working and praying, they're watching you. Sacrilege your performances. What do you want from me? Why do you begrudge people a little entertainment? Entertainment? You're seducing them to evil. Don't say I haven't warned you. You and your goat. I order you to leave Paris today. Don't worry, Jelly. That monk's crazy. He can't harm us. The people of Paris like us. Your Honor. What is it? Can't you see that I'm busy? But, Your Honor, Abbey Frollo, the Abbey of Notre Dame, wishes to speak with you. What does he want again? Oh, well, let him in. Your Honor, I'm sure you've heard of the gypsy girl who dances in front of my church every day. She's very beautiful, an enchantment to the city. You see, she's bewitched you too, Your Honor. I'm here to accuse her of witchcraft. Do you really have to? Yes, yes, I know we haven't had a witchcraft trial in ages. But does it have to be the lovely Esmeralda? What do you have against her? Sir Judge, she's a danger to the souls of the people of Paris, and especially to our church. I didn't mean to insult you, and I mean, well, if you say she's a witch, well, you know more about this than I do. There are enough witnesses who are ready to testify that the gypsy Esmeralda is guilty of witchcraft and black magic. If you don't try her, I'll go to the Bishop of Paris. He won't be pleased to hear that you doubted the word of the Abbey of Notre Dame. Your Honor, the bishop can fire you if he wants to. And who will pay for your feasts then? Or me, for that matter, huh? 